bottom of the track out of turn four there's gonna be contact who's gonna get back to the line hello everybody welcome back to a brand new episode here on this nascar 15 drive for five jeff gordon season here we had a las vegas motor speedway today one of my favorite tracks on the schedule let's hope that we can put jeff gordon at the top of the grid at a turn four again here in round two it felt pretty good again i feel like we got a decent lap out of it tony stewart crosses the line we go slower than boyer but we go faster than stewart i don't think we're gonna make it p24 okay we were dead last in the second round <laughs> Ready to go green here from Las Vegas Motor Speedway and oh there's a lot of wheel spin okay I forgot about that and uh, that was one of my favorite things actually about restarts in this game but what the crap is happening here we're just going to jump up to the other side and make a three wide if I could run this top lane here in this episode I'd be really really happy I'm going to put the brake bias way down we are four wide we are four wide on lap one we are not in a in a oh my god that is not ideal gentlemen I don't know why we're, we're going four wide here on the very first lap but you know what you got to get what you can get i guess at the same time so i do respect their endeavors here on this first and opening lap trevor bain is there oh my god i'm turning myself into the outside wall i'm adding some just more i guess accent here to the right side of the car that's really what it is look at that momentum oh you are kidding me right it is lap two and we're blocking like uh, joey logano or a chase elliott at atlanta out here trevor that is exactly how you get wrecked i'm sorry logano i just called you out now i'm running into the back of you look at the stack up here in the middle i mean this is prime opportunity oh it's tight okay i don't have any damage on the brake rotor but that is really that was kind of awkward it just felt really tight out of nowhere here we go here we go here we go through three wait we're down to 26 i didn't even realize i was down that far i thought it was way further ahead and oh my god i mean this outside's rolling it's definitely rolling but i'm tight and i'm getting close to that wall and if we just keep uh, getting a little bit too close we're gonna damage that brake rotor and make it a miserable first run here until we get into the pits but I think this is going to be one of those green flag kind of runs races here. So we're going to try and manage this car. Still three wide into turn one. These guys are just ruthless here today in Las Vegas. This is some good racing though. I am enjoying this so far. Um, as Oh, I didn't enjoy that. Okay, we just got a really lucky break there. I did not kill the rotor, so we're fine. Oh, yes. Oh, around the outside of time. Chase Elliott. There we go. Can we just talk about, by the way, how beautiful this paint scheme is? I mean, got to be my all-time possibly favorite Jeff Gordon paint scheme here. I mean, the flames were just so well done on this car. The blend with the black and the red and the yellow and then, like, the little blue outline. I mean, it just looks so good. To the outside of Kyle Larson in the turn one. Jimmy Jam Johnson having a bit of a rough run here currently in P16. As we exit turn two, that's a wall I don't want to hit. And thank God I did not hit it, but we did completely botch that corner. Oh, yes, here we go. Easy pass on Kyle Larson. That outside doesn't seem to be working for me as much as it was in the first, like, seven laps. So we might actually have to drop down to the inside here. Let's see what we can get rolling. It seems like, okay, we can get to the outside. We can really move there, passing that 48 of Johnson, but it is really starting to push. Here we go, here we go, to the outside potentially of that 17 on the exit of turn four. Leave it open, sir, and I'm taking it. No, he's gonna cut me off, run into the back of him there. Cross down to the inside. We're actually gonna have to make a pass on the inside here for once. I don't think I've passed a single car on the inside here yet, so let's see if I can at least hit my breaking spot. Actually, it was okay. I tell you guys what, the more, the more laps I'm doing here, on this game and this track specifically makes me miss these days of nascar gaming right here where the game worked you know there wasn't many issues the ai were actually fun to race with of course this game has its ups and downs but it's tracks like this where the ai is really solid the car handles fantastically the physics are so well done and graphically for its time in 2015 this game held up tremendously uh and you know i i really wish we could get something like this again here in current day Stenos is back up my inside, but we have the exit of the turn four. Our field is getting low, and I would really like to make it about eight, nine more laps before I pit to try and stretch it to the end of this race, but I don't think we're going to quite get that luxury here. So I can see that we're not going to make it to even like lap 25. So this is going to be a two-stop race, which means I'm going to pit next lap because if we have to do guaranteed two pit stops, let's just try and come in a tad bit earlier, but they might pit the same lap that we're coming in. Car in front is heading to the pit. There you have it. Elliot's coming in. Oh, they are diving all the way down to the apron here. I forgot that was the thing. I don't know where my braking spot is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. We are going to get slowed down to the 55 at least, but it was certainly a bit of a, a rocky uh, entry there. Let's get some adjustments in. I'm going pretty big here on the adjustments. 
That was the slowest I've ever seen right side tires go on and off in my whole career, and I think we're gonna get past. Yeah, how did it, how was the pit stop that bad? How do you guys screw that up? Oh my god. Look at all these positions we're gonna gain. I think we're gonna actually lose positions, though. I don't know. Actually, no, no, we're gaining, I think, because there's like Kevin Harvick in them, so it looks like we will gain some positions. Clint Boyer is gonna come right to the front of my car. I'm gonna get down to the inside, we're gonna get past him, but I think we're about to make a net gain here at least we have gotten up to the bank of ryan blaney i'm gonna go to the inside here so we are going to make some gains we're almost into the top 10 and this like i said i kind of felt like this was going to be one of those like green flag run races and i think that's exactly what we're getting here i don't know if it's going to stay green to the end because i'm sure something is going to go wrong however we're having a nice little scrap right here with blaney and then i decided i'm going to choke so i'm going to do a little bit of a side draft here run the top in three and i think this is where we'll be able to pull him early in the run it seems like we can really make that top roll however not this time. Blaney gets back ahead. Hold on. I'll do the switch back once again on you and see if we can clear him down into turn one. This is for P11. We're having one heck of a scrap right here. Not quite clear, so we're going to be stuck behind Kenseth. Oh, I really had to stomp on the brake pedal right there. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Blaney is slower than a hedgehog climbing a staircase. Goodness gracious. I'm going to go to the outside of him down into turn one. We get towards the top ten. I got to make it a little bit difficult on Blaney. He's got speed. He's actually got water pouring out of his car. Oh, I really do think now I might have went the wrong way on the adjustment here because it's already tight after like five laps, and that was not the case in the first run. However, I mean, we're up towards the top 10, but I can certainly notice a difference there in the handling of this car. I mean, we are having one absolute scrap here. Oh, he's going to get it right here. He's going to get it right there. Come on. Hang on his quarter panel. No, we got clear. There we go. There we go. We got some nice momentum right there on Blaney. We're not done yet. This is one heck of a battle we are having here with this 21 car. Oh, I'm loving this. This is such a flawless experience right here, honestly. Still, side by side. I think Blaney's car is giving up, though. I mean, we just cleared him around the outside. And I think, like I said, I think it's pretty well his car is saying, I got nothing left in the tank. Oh, Chase Elliott losing a little bit of momentum. I don't want to pass to the inside, so I'm going to stay right here on his outside door down into turn one we're gonna use that big mo come on give it to me there we go get to the outside of the 14 maybe no definitely not elliot's gonna stay on the inside i don't think he quite has enough in the car to fight with me like blaney did he does not this is i mean such a nice race to run right here this is straight up i'm gonna call it the pinnacle uh, of nascar gaming right now i mean this is such a fun race to do and i really wish we could have this kind of style uh, of nascar game back again i mean it is so good Oh, 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 no, Tony, racing a little bit too hard right there, and I got onto his right rear quarter, I damaged the brake rotor, however, we do have to make one more pit stop, so there's the positives, now it's all going crazy, I'm sorry, Blaney, somehow we all keep it going in the right direction, Clint Boyer, that was close, goodness gracious. Three wide, we are three wide on the exit of turn two. Kyle Larson wants to join the party, and we're going to get clear, hopefully, uh, of both of these guys, yes, we will. All right, all right, we're gonna come into the pit line right here. I'm gonna throw an audible, actually. We're gonna pit earlier than expected. Let's hope I don't get run over here. I should have probably just jumped down to the apron, but nonetheless, let's hope that this is gonna be okay. So far, so good, so far, so good. Get down to the 55 mile an hour. Oh my God, it worked, barely. That was a better pit stop from the team right there. Let's go. Let's see if this works out. Taking fresher tires and making sure we can get to the end of this race. I think it's going to stay green. They are going to be green for a while. That's the one issue. So we got to hope that there's no caution. I highly doubt there will be, though. Our fastest lap and the fastest lap of the race here in Las Vegas. We are moving now, boys. Oh, it's not even a contest right there. We are way ahead of Tony Stewart and all those guys. So that is certainly a good sign right there. No one has come out in front of us yet. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Where are we going to come through? Carl Edwards, I think, is just now leaving his pit box. Oh, boy. We got an opportunity here down into turn one. I don't even see the 19. Where is the 19 car? Is he already out of his box? Oh, no. He's right here. Carl Edwards. We just passed him. And Kyle Busch. Oh, this is might have been potentially the strategy to win the race now however they are going to have a lot fresher tires than me so there's the issue kyle bush is behind us and closing so we need to come up with a strategy immediately on how we're going to keep him behind in the cleanest way possible to the lead in the number 24 exalt the chevrolet and here comes kyle bush he's already here that is way quicker than i was anticipating i know he's got fresher tires but i thought i had enough to hold on here do i just try and kind of mimic what he's doing here 
run the bottom instead into turn three. I can't even, like, get the car to turn down enough, actually. If he would have gotten there, he would have easily had the spot. But you know what? We still kept them behind us. I'm literally just trying to do what they do in real life, where you just try to run the same lane that the guy behind you does, but I just washed up way too hard, and Kyle's gonna get to the inside. Not even a contest here. Let's see if we can just hold our own in the three and four. Can't really throttle up where I would prefer to, and that is gonna be it right there, because I just KO'd the car. Oh my goodness, we didn't damage anything there, but we continue on. Can I get to his bumper at this point? So, what we gotta wonder next? Oh, he's always leaving the door open here, and we're gonna try and fight back to the inside. I feel like if we can't get alongside him in turn three, though, it's game over. Oh, we're in the wall on the exit of turn four. It's three laps to go. Edwards. It's about half a second back. Kyle was about half a second in front. Now the gap's kind of stabilized right here. Uh, so, I mean, hold on. It might not be completely officially over yet here. As we get through turn one out of turn two pretty well, I'm going to hit the wall here. Oh, that didn't help us. That didn't do us any favors. I think we still gained time, though, by using that wall. Out of turn four, coming to two to go. I mean, never say never, but we just gained even more. We are closing in on Kyle Busch here. Oh, that's that was a really solid turn one and two right there. We get even closer. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Not a good enough three and four, though. I don't think we're going to have enough for Kyle Busch. It's going to be final lap here. Cut down on the apron. And if I can just get within striking distance into turn three, who even knows at this point? Down into turn one. And, oh, it's close, but I just don't think there's enough in it out of turn two. And look how close we are to Kyle Busch. Hold on. If I could just get to his bumper, maybe loosen him up. Here we go. Down into turn three for the final time. I'm going to send one of the inside of Kyle Busch. Run him up the track out of turn four. There's going to be contact. Who's going to get back to the line? Save it. Don't save it. Kyle Busch crashes. We crash. And we finish fourth. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God goodness that might be the coolest finish i've ever seen in nascar history who won it's carl edwards carl edwards wins the race that is probably the most iconic finish i've ever seen in the nascar cup series i didn't want to wreck kyle bush there i just pushed up I, and obviously i i didn't really lift at that point when we got towards the wall and i almost had it saved uh but obviously i didn't save it so after race three, we are P2 in the standing, six behind Chase Elliott. How is Chase Elliott leading? I don't know. Uh, in that 25 car. However, I mean, he's up front. Josh Wise down in the 10th place after the Daytona 500 win. In the next episode, we go to Phoenix. So, you know, we've had a good stretch of races. Daytona was Daytona. It was a bit of a mess. Uh, Atlanta was a full-blown mess that gave us a chance to win. Uh, and then Las Vegas, we had a sudden chance to win in the final lap. And then, obviously, it ended great. We had to get the elbows out to try and win that race. I'm here to win races to lock ourselves into the playoffs. Obviously, <laughs> it didn't end like I was hoping. So, going into Phoenix, hopefully, we can uh, bring back that Jeff Gordon 2011 energy uh, and pass Kyle Busch late in that race, too, for a race victory. But if you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys in the next one you know what to do thank you for watching have a great day everybody